supplements that Ben can take to reduce the risk of prostate cancer? Uh, there are. Um, one needs to be very careful because there are supplements that are sold in the internet that says, well, this cures prostate cancer. There's no supplement. There's no one thing that cures prostate cancer. Yeah, I'm talking reducing the risk of Reducing it, the risk. Right. Even once somebody has it, you, right. you want to create a microenvironment that's hostile to cancer. That's the goal. How do you do that with lifestyle practices, nutrition, exercise? Supplements is one part of that, mm -hmm. one important part of it. In fact, it's one important part of the, the whole capitalist method that we've talked about. S dietary supplements, what we want to do is several things with, with the use of dietary supplements. We want to reduce inflammation. We want to increase the immune system or strengthen the immune system. We want to promote detoxification. And we want to protect against the cells against oxidative stress. Mm -hmm. So you can do that very nicely and very effectively with the right type of dietary supplement, supplement combination. So some things are curcumin, which reduces inflammation, boswellia, Oftentimes used for arthritic situation and joint mm -hmm. pain, reduces inflammation. It's excellent. A lot of studies even with uh, Boswellian and breast cancer showing benefit, actually. Um, you want to use things like grapeseed extract. In one huge study showed that uh, there was a, uh, when they looked at men and uh, all the supplements they took, only one reduced the risk of prostate cancer by 41%. That was grapeseed extract. Wow, okay. Yeah, that's significant. And taken alone? Or was it taken with In anything this else? particular study, it was taken alone. Mm -hmm. uh, they took several supplements okay. and they narrowed down that grapeseed extract was the one thing that led to that decrease okay. in prostate cancer. So that's significant. Right. Um, you have things like modified cit citrus pectin, which uh, it's been published extensively and showing reduction of prostate, prostate cancer and even spreading of prostate cancer, in, at least in mice. We don't know exactly if that works effectively in humans. And in that case, are you taking supplements of the citrus pectin or eating a whole lot of oranges and grapefruits? So it's modified citrus pectin. Mm -hmm. So the pectin in grapefruit and mm -hmm. oranges are not modified. They're a fiber, so you don't absorb it. You, it goes through your system. In this particular scenario, they use the same pectins, right. except they modify, they break them up into smaller molecules, it. so it can actually be so, absorbed. And then absorb and take the toxins out of your body. Correct. Got it. Yes. Okay, fine. Yes. All right. And then here's one more. You like selenium as well. I love well. selenium. Uh, people across the world, those with low levels of selenium, mm -hmm. have higher risk of prostate cancer. Selenium is a very good antioxidant. Mm -hmm. uh, you want to use a selenized yeast form. It's very important that rather than just using another form that's out in the market called a selenomethionine. So you want selenized yeast and less selenomethionine. Um, it, it's, a, it's where the studies are showing that it's more beneficial. It's come, almost like a food-like as opposed right. to just chemical-like. It's just better for, from a prostate cancer perspective. Um, and other things are things like vitamin C, mixed tocopherol vitamin E. Now, why am I spending time saying this long name that's hard to even pronounce? Mixed tocopherol vitamin, vitamin E. It's, it's important because you can find one component of vitamin E out there that actually promotes prostate cancer. And what's the bad By kind? itself. Right. That's called alpha tocopherol. That's synthetic alpha tocopherol. Okay, that kind, bad. That bad kind, or bad, or right. promotes, increases right. the risk of prostate right. cancer. The one that's beneficial is mixed, mixed tocopherol. There's right. alpha tocopherol, beta, right. gamma tocopherol. And gamma tocopherol right. is very high in food and nature. Right. We want gamma tocopherol to be high. Not to be overly complicated or scientific, but that information is actually extremely valuable for the consumer. Right. So you want mixed tocopherol, vitamin E. Well, and I think the important part about all of this is that I would say natural medicine is not do-it-yourself medicine. It's so really that not. even though we, you know, we ran out, run out the names of these, always best to talk to a trained professional, naturopathic physician, or somebody that's clearly trained in herbal medications and, and nutrition. Absolutely. Yeah. You have so you have right. doctors out there, naturopathic doctors, right. functional medicine doctors that right. are out there. Seek them out and, and get that uh, that type of advice. I see a lot of patients just spending too much money on supplements. They come to my office, a uh, table full right. of supplements, they're spending too much money, I narrow it down, they save money, they're getting the things that they actually need for their bodies. And doing it wrong can, in fact, be risky. It can be yeah. risky. All right. Thank you, Dr. Gio. My pleasure. If you liked what you just saw, we have a whole lot more with Dr. Gio Espinoza at our website, bottomlineinc.com. And do me a favor, share this, tell your friends. We have so much great information. Come to bottomlineinc.com.